Angelus just dropped an all new glow in the dark paint and today I'm gonna be putting it to the test and seeing just how good it is. Hey guys, it's Sneaker Queens Customs, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to apply this new paint, how well it works with different finishers, how flexible it is, how bright it glows, and if it can be used on fabrics. Make sure to stay till the very end to see me apply what we learned by making a custom shoe using this all new green glow paint. In this promo pic on the website, you can see that in the light, this paint has a nice subtle green look to it, and then obviously glows very bright green in the dark. Now, according to the bottle, this paint is recommended to be applied with an airbrush, although technically you can use a paintbrush too. So let's try both and compare the results. First, I'm gonna paint a few layers of white on this leather swatch since that would be the best base color to use underneath this green glow paint. So if the material you're customizing is already white, then you can skip this step. When I was using a paintbrush to apply the green glow paint, the subtle green coloring that you see in the daylight wasn't noticeable at all until about five coats in, and that's also when the paint started to get a little chunky looking and streaky because of the amount of layers needed to achieve the desired look. The glow aspect of the paint was noticeable pretty much immediately. Around coat 10 is when the green coloring showed up well, but as you can see overall, it takes many coats to get an even coloring glow by using a paintbrush for application. Next, I'm gonna put on my face mask to protect my lungs since I'm testing it out with an airbrush now. When using an airbrush, it took only six layers to reach the same level of color and glow as hand painting 10 layers, so I definitely recommend using an airbrush to apply this paint, as it took much less time and effort to achieve a noticeably more consistent saturation and glow, and it looks really professionally done in comparison. A pro tip here, I would suggest painting with a black light if you can, so you are able to check and see how saturated and consistent your paint job is while you're working. Now that the leather swatch is airbrushed, I'm gonna apply each of the Angelus four coat finishers on top of the paint and leave one without any finisher, and then compare how they look in the light and in the dark. Overall, none of the finishers affect the glow in the dark feature, so you can use whichever you want based on how you want the shoe to look in the daylight. In case you are wondering if this paint is still flexible and crack resistant, the answer is yes. As you can see, the paint perfectly flexed under stress, and while the leather is creased, the paint is still uncracked and looking great. Even the section with zero finisher at all had no issues. Now we're gonna be testing this new green glow paint on fabric. For this fabric test, I'm gonna be trying it out on shoelaces and the shoe's sock liner. Both of these materials require the same supplies and similar steps, so let's get right into it. So for the laces, we're gonna mix a one-to-one -one ratio of paint with Too Soft. Too Soft is a fabric medium that keeps any fabric soft and flexible when painting with it, so it's definitely an essential here. I'm gonna make sure the laces are fully saturated on all sides, and then I put on my face mask and heat set for three to five minutes. Rinse out any leftover paint and leave to air dry overnight. The laces took on the subtle green color in the light and definitely glow in the dark, but not completely consistently throughout. I am happy with the results though, as they do glow pretty well and the inconsistency could probably be due to the type of fabric being painted on. I would try testing on various lace types to see which works best. For the sock liner, you're gonna want to again mix a one-to-one -one ratio of paint with Too Soft and apply with either a wool dauber, large paintbrush, or even an airbrush. Before painting, I like to tape back the tongue so they don't fall down onto the wet paint. Once you've painted the first layer, you're gonna want to then thoroughly check over the fabric to make sure you didn't miss any spots. Once fully saturated, put your face mask on and heat set for three to five minutes. Let sit out and fully set overnight before wearing them. The sock liners came out incredibly well and only took two layers of the paint mixture to produce this saturated and brightly glowing result. And the glow was still just as bright and consistent after it was fully dry. Overall, I'd say the green glow paint definitely works with fabrics and you should try it out for yourself and experiment with what kind of results you can achieve. 
Now let's take everything we've learned and apply it to creating a custom shoe with this new glow in the dark paint. As always, I prep my leather shoes by removing the factory finish with Angel's deglazer so the paint adheres fully to the material. Be sure to take your time with this step as it's really important for a long lasting custom shoe. Then I'm going to apply these vinyl star stencils I made all over the shoes where I want them and afterwards I'm going to tape up and cover the rest of the shoes so I don't get paint anywhere I don't want it. I airbrushed six coats for each star, making sure to let each layer fully dry in between. Then, I airbrushed finisher over top the paint. While a finisher for this paint is optional, I personally want to protect my work as much as possible, so I'll be using Angelus' four coat in high gloss because that's what looked best to me to match the theme of my project. Lastly, I'm going to remove the vinyl and tape and lace these back up. Nostalgia is probably one of my favorite feelings and when I saw Angelus' new glow in the dark paint it immediately brought back memories of when I was a kid and had those glow in the dark stars all over my bedroom ceiling so I wanted to replicate that onto a pair of sneakers. I love how these shoes are somewhat inconspicuous in the daylight and then when the lights go down they immediately grab your attention. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful make sure to like and subscribe for more tips and if you want to learn more about customizing make sure to check out this video on the do's and don'ts of customizing and I'll see you next time.